Okay, now it's getting serious. I haven't done one of these before. This is an A-level maths pure paper one last minute tips video. Now, I just want to make a disclaimer. I am doing my A-levels at the same time as you guys. So this isn't really a last minute tips, even though I've put the title as that. This is more going to be me telling you what I'm doing right now, day before my exam. And so it's up to you whether or not you want to listen to that advice or you want to do your own thing. I don't have the expertise right now to be like, this is what you should do. This is just me just telling you guys how I'm revising for this in case you want some inspiration. Okay first and foremost here is your list of topics just think to yourself can I do every single one of these if I got a question on this can I do it what I'm doing myself right now just to make sure that I do remember even the most basic things in these topics is I'm going through maths genie and I'm just doing the questions every single topic on those because they're quite short but it will give me a good idea of every topic and it will make me know whether or not I need to do more practice on it and stuff like that I've also been doing PMT questions for the past couple of days those ones are much longer they have the past exam questions that I've done from previous past papers and they also have pre-2018 questions as well that you can try out those are really useful as well the only thing is there's so many of them you might not know to start and there might be like a document of like over 40 parametric integration questions or whatever right and you don't know which ones to begin with and you know that you could probably do it but you want to find some really difficult ones so just go to those really difficult ones and just do those ones and if you're struggling on which ones are most difficult and you don't really know one thing i've been doing is i've been putting it into chat gpt and i've been asking it to tell me which questions to do based on their difficulty and it's actually worked quite well and i actually really recommend it another thing i've been doing is i'd tell chat gpt the questions i've done right and then tell it to pick through another list of questions based on on what I've already gotten right so it will choose questions that I'm more likely to get wrong based on the knowledge I already have from those previous questions if that makes sense. It's actually been working quite well. It's helped me become like more efficient. I think that's the most important thing right now before this exam. You just want to efficiently go over all the topics that you need to so that by the time you get to tomorrow's exam or today's exam depending on when you're watching this you're not going to have to worry about the fact that you just completely forgot to go over what set notation was or you completely forgot to look at the proofs for your sequences and series or you forgot your most basic double angle formulae. All of those things I want you to just go back over them really quickly and understand them, make sure you know them very well. In fact, what I'm going to be doing for my own A-levels, right, is I'm going to make a small piece of paper where I know all of these things just so I don't forget them. And I'm going to look over that literally minutes before my exam just to make sure that those really small points I usually forget all the time that I remember them just because those one or two couple marks could be the reason between your A and A star and your A and B and whatever it is, you know. So it's always important to focus on those two. But obviously, if you've done all of that and you know you're good at all of that, then you really want to focus on those big, big mark questions and that's always the integration, the differentiation, the differential equations, the implicit differentiation, sometimes even some radian question maybe. We're definitely probably going to get one of those long trig identity questions. There's so many different things that they can ask us. Now at this point you probably haven't done every single past paper. If you have, congratulations, that's amazing. But there might be a few that you haven't done or a few mock papers that you've seen that you haven't got the chance to actually complete. Don't sit there for the two hours and do those, like that's a waste of time. What I want you to do is to find those past papers that you haven't done and look at the second half of them. That's probably the best thing you can do because with these past papers all you're really looking at is those really difficult questions near the second half of the paper the first half of the papers are quite easy and there'll be stuff that you won't really need to go over and do practice on if you know the topic really well but then the second half of the paper even if you know the topic really well it's really a question by question basis and it really depends on how you approach the question rather than how you know the topic in itself right so yeah that's what i've been doing and that's what i'm going to be continuing to do i really hope this exam goes well for all of you guys um this is my first exam so it's going to be fun <laughs> but it's should be fine just as long as you focus on your topics individually and you look at the second half of the papers even the papers that you've already done go back over those look at the questions you got wrong and things make sure you know how to do those and make a small cheat sheet of all the small things that you might be consistently forgetting that's what I'm gonna do for my exams. Go lock in. You should not be watching YouTube right now. This should have been the only video you've watched. Now go back to your revision. Go and get the grades you deserve. It's just about the hard work. If you're doing biology, I'm gonna see you tomorrow and I'm gonna get a last minute tips video for that as well. So that's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, good luck guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're doing biology or I'll see you guys very soon if you're doing another subject.